Scotland withstood a second half Samoa fight back to begin their trio of autumn internationals with a 44-38 win. Tries from Stuart Hogg and Hollow Jones, plus a Stuart McKinley brace, put the Scots in control. But Samoa scored four second half tries following Josh Tyrell's earlier effort to keep in touch. Afisa Trevoranis's opportunistic touchdown set up a nervy final two minutes for Scotland, but Gregor Townsend's men held on for the victory. Salmon Rugby, declared bankrupt earlier this week, is facing enough adversity without the bounce of the ball, being especially cruel, but that was the way of it inside two minutes when a Finn Russell grubber and a Tommy Seymour fly hack sent the ball into the visitors' 22. A kindly bounce would have led to a to Alla gathering and hoofing clear but instead, the luck was with Scotland and Hogg took advantage to run in a simple score. Russell's conversion made it 7-0, but the quality descended from there as Scotland kicked often and badly. Their error count mounted as Samoa ground their way back into it by carrying hard into Scotland's guts and getting some joy from their physicality. Tim Nanai Williams landed a penalty then quickly cancelled out by two more from Russell and just short of the half-hour mark Samoa scored a try they totally deserved. Tapping a close-range penalty, Lock Tyrell blasted through a rock of bodies and Nanai Williams made it 13-10 with the boot. Scotland's tempo was flat, the near-capacity crowd going quiet while things trundled along. The loss of WP Nell with an arm injury didn't help matters, adding to the plague that has afflicted Townsend's front row forwards this season. With the estimable Nell the latest to suffer, and with the All Blacks and Australia to come, Townsend will be praying for good news from the casualty ward this week. In the last five minutes of the first half, Scotland gave some luster to the scoreline as Jones went through Paul Perez for the first, and then McKinley got on the end of a driven line out for the second. Four minutes after getting one try from a mall, the hooker got a second dot same control, same power, same outcome. Russell's conversion stretched the gap to 22 points, but Scotland fell into a torpor thereafter. Samoa were terrific their spirit never broken, their threat constant, but Scotland's horrendous mistakes made it so much easier for them. From the restart following McKinley's second score, Scotland made a desperate hash of things to put Samoa on the front foot, and from there Pyle of Asalel smashed his way over. Townsend brought on three new caps George Turner, Jamie Batty and Chris Harris, but they were barely on the field when Samoa struck again. Once more, Scotland's line defence wasn't good enough, Nanai Williams sliding through a gap to score and then convert. All of a sudden, it was an eight-point game. Alex Dunbar widened the gap, 
by crashing over in what had become a crazy tri-filled contest, but Scotland conceded again just after. A botched restart did the damage for a second time, and this time it was Kieran Fenosha who ran it in, with Scotland's defence painful to watch. Peter Horn, from a clever inside ball from Cornell Dupreeze, gave the Scots a bit of breathing space, but yet again, Samoa quickly snatched it from them. More massive gaps in the Scotland defence, more feeble protection of their try line, and another try for Samoa saw Trevor Annis gallop away to touch down at the posts. The conversion made it a six-point game again, but that's how it stayed, and despite being defeated, huge plaudits go to Samoa for their huge pride in what has been a difficult week. For Scotland? There will have to be a massive improvement in their performance especially in defence if the All Blacks are to even notice their existence at Murrayfield on Saturday.